fluffy striped pillows. I'm Winter and this is the Spelunky Daily Challenge for the 29th of July 2014. Minecraft videos have resumed and so have Spelunky ones. Hopefully... There. The <laughs> first, very first thing that happens as soon as I start the level is a tiny frame rate to drop. But aside of that, everything is all fine and then, then I'm gonna risk my life. Actually, you know what? That crate can stay right there where it is. That TNT thing. I will not be bothering it. Instead, I will be using this pebble to get past the arrow trap and... Hmm. There is a crate. The crate requires a bomb to be reached. Normally, I would take the risk if it wasn't in the very first level and while I only have four bombs on me, but basically my... Oh, plus there's a freak right there, but my approach in the first few levels of the mines is always to save up a bomb, save them up, save them, save them up, because they're gonna need it, you're gonna need them for the black market, so... It was a very empty and sad <laughs> one dash one. What a sad beginning. Snake pit. Oh yeah, uh, I am resuming this. I really hope you can't hear the people yelling outside, but boy are they talking loudly. As I was saying. <laughs> Uh, there isn't much I can do about things like the sound. I am just uh, in a very special room uh, where I don't get uh, the quiet that uh, uh, professional let's players <laughs> could uh, aspire to get. Oh no, I've just seen something awful. Yep, that is very bad. Basically, we have a shop in our way. We can't just uh, dig our way out of the pit. Whoops. I also took unnecessary damage, but um, either we will anger him the unconventional way, or we'll dig, um, we'll use a rope to go back up, and I think that's exactly what I'll do. Because I do want to steal from that shop, but I have to do it from the front if I want to be sure that uh, ah, it's going to be safe. Alright, that's good enough, because I can dig through here. Great! Plus we have found a few bumps, so that's... Uh, oh, and also I'm playing really poorly. But the bumps are great, the extra ropes will not hurt, and the cape is gonna help us a lot. There is no... There are no climbing gloves in that shop, which means we want to get... Uh, all the mobility that we can aspire to outside of having a jetpack. Oop. We have a spider to take care of. A big one. Oh, talking about big spiders, I told you just today, a few hours ago, I saw a giant one. IRL. It was awful. You go here. I get that. Hmm, it's a shame not using a mattock to actually get gems and ghost them, but without the climbing gloves or jetpack. I can't really do much. So, successfully robbed the shop, that's great. I'm just gonna use this until I have time. Just a tiny bit to get this, to get that. I wanna get the gems that are behind the shop. Spring shoes are gonna help a lot. There we go. Oh. And you, and you. And that's it. I could... I could actually keep, uh, I suppose, the mattock, but... Um, I'm not a good enough player yet. Yet to uh, consider the possibility of leaving behind my shotgun, especially now that the shopkeepers have been angered. Plus, I have only seven. No, 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 wait, five. What did I use my bombs for? I used. I killed a big spider. What else did I do with the other bomb? Oh, yeah, I had to get the mattock. So, five bombs, there are very, very few. Again, uh, I need to have a few. I need to keep them, to preserve them, uh, for the purpose of finding the black market, so... I'll try not to use them to get rid of dangers like uh, shopkeepers, unless I have no other way of dealing with them. Do-do-do-do. 
I really wish to skin. Like, if I have one complaint, the uh, complain, complaint. If I can complain about this game, I would complain about the fact that the oh jeez, unexpected. But the fact that the shopkeeper, angry shopkeeper music, is very short and very repetitive. And once you steal from one shop and you end up maybe playing for two hours straight, uh, it, it gets annoying really quickly. <laughs> What's the situation? Oh, that's so bad. Uh, how am I supposed to deal with that? I'm really bad at dealing with the shopkeepers who are in that uh, tiny uh, spot that's four blocks tall and uh, too wide. You'd think, you'd think to 2,000 deaths and 200 deaths later, I would know how to deal with that, but nope. <laughs> I have no clue. I think I'll just avoid approaching that shop at all and just keep going. Yep. It's a tiny bit of treasure that I'm leaving behind, but uh, it's even though it's a daily challenge and I'm supposed to actually oh 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 I'm supposed to focus on getting as much uh, ah as much of a high score as I can. Su surviving is still something I it's still something I focus on more than getting a good score because uh, uh, it actually pays off more on the long run so you know that's a strategy rather than risking my life to get a single gem I'd rather go to the next level and get a bunch of gems there uh, I will have to give up that jar if I throw this here but I'll get this gem we have an altar of Kali right next to a damsel, or a damsel right next to an altar of Kali, whichever one you prefer. Not using bombs again uh, uh, for the crate, uh, even though, like... <laughs> uh, anywhere outside of a daily, daily, I would go for every crate I see, no matter how pricey it is, because you have, in this game, you have to treat every crate as if uh, it's all it's uh, holding inside a, a plasma cannon. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll just attract the spider's attention. There we go. Perfect. Uh, there's just that trap. Uh. Oh wait. Uh, um, I can, I can activate the trap uh, from this side, I believe. Indeed, I can. Let's break this here, just in case. It saddens me to see a vault. Uh, but I definitely can't ghost it. Uh, I just don't have the bombs for it. Uh. Well, that's just great. I have to wait for the shopkeeper to go to the right. Uh. Come on, shopkeeper. Come on, shopkeeper. Alright, I guess I'll be using one bomb. Oh! Yes! The bomb was wasted, but uh, uh, I got him in a different way at least. Ooh! Alright, we have the Uja Tai. Let me think. I sacrificed an M soul on this level. I could sacrifice the shopkeeper's corpse. Yeah, I can do that pretty easily without risking uh, anything. And yeah, again, uh, even though I'm supposed to go for score and vaults uh, in Spelunky are the way to get uh, a good score, I can't afford to use my bombs in the 1 4 when I only have 4 with me. So, sorry, vault, not today. Moving on. What's my health? I don't remember how much health I have. Ew, that's bad. 4. 4 is bad. And that is also bad. I don't think a shopkeeper can get out of that. Uh, he may be able to once I actually get down here. And I'm really afraid of that. Uh. Oh! Now we can. Or 
or not. Alright, hopefully I don't actually have to worry about him. Now I, I want to worry about this piranha. So I can get to the box. And yeah, that's another compass. We don't need a compass. We do need, however, to be on the lookout for the black market. It's really important. I haven't heard a tick yet from the Ujitai. And I don't know what the other shopkeeper is doing. Oh! For example. Hmm. Alright. We shot him once. The shotgun is down here. Unfortunately, we can't use the music to determine whether he's dead or not because we have at least one other shopkeeper on the loose. Alright. He's gone. He, well, he's gone. His corpse is there, but uh, his soul has gone to a better place and we really need to explore for the black market. Uh, I basically have, have only explored the one third of this level. Ah, we'll have to use a bomb uh, and a few ropes, but uh, ah, I can use the ro 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 ropes. This is a good spot, I suppose. So I'm gonna open up uh, ah, the shop uh, and I can go to the right. Uh, Oh, tick, tick, tick. Oh, I see it. That's only gonna need um, two more bombs. One to get up here, and another one to actually open it. Ooh, I'm actually so very glad I came back. No, we don't have time. All right, think about this. I'm going to get both the crate and the skull and also my own shotgun. So I think I will indeed get around the ghost for that. That shopkeeper we still don't have to worry about. But basically I'm gonna um, attract ghost all the way down here to the bottom left of the level. And then go for the black market entrance and quickly get the skull. And check what's in the crate. And then leave uh, with my shotgun. I should have enough time to do all those things. Uh, of course I will have to... I totally know. I don't have to use uh, the rope there. Oop. There we go. Nothing here. Get that. Get in here. Throw it here. Get the shotgun. Uh, I have missed them so... I totally... Like, I haven't missed her. I have uh, not picked her up. She was in the side of the wall from the entrance. Uh, I have more ropes, so I can immediately... What's with the... <laughs> with the higher than today? And I'm gonna use another one here because I didn't... Put this rope all the way up. Now, what's gonna happen with this shopkeeper? Normally I try to bomb... Here, this part. Ooh, 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 that was a bit too close. Alright, there we go. Bombs! Good thing, it wasn't even a bomb shop. Come here, bat. Come here, bat. Oh, oh. <laughs> the higher than I totally managed to kill the bat after having died. We have a bomb shop down here and that has a lot of bombs. So that makes me happy. Ooh. This means we can use these bombs to deal with the ank shop. I need to be careful with the shopkeeper on the left. He may try to jump after me. Um, that didn't kill the shopkeeper? That might have. And I'm happy that that shopkeeper went down there. That uh, solves me a lot of problems. And <laughs> that was one close, dangerous shopkeeper. Perfect! I just need to kill the one down here. And then I'm gonna use up a bunch of bombs just trying to do that. Really? Ah... Uh, there we go. I almost dug a hole all the way to the exit. That actually can be a good escape path. In case it's necessary. And I will have to go around here because that the Tiki Man is going to be an issue. I haven't seen any Matok nor any Jetpack 
for now, but I haven't checked those shops in here. Those are climbing gloves. And we need them. Oh, oh! Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Very dangerous. I could use two bombs to make them fall. But then what? Alright, good. I should have gotten them. Oh, no jetpack. Alright, we have climbing gloves and... Uh, yikes! And cape, that's all of our vertical mobility. Not too many ropes, but uh, a decent amount. And not too many bombs either, I mean... That's decent, but it's like ideally the number of bombs you want to have when you when you enter the city of gold and not when you leave the black market. Although that's still good, it's much more than I had five minutes ago. Now I have to do something to get out. I think we only have the shopkeeper in front of the entrance left alive. Hmm, we need something catchier. I do. I have changed a few songs uh, uh, in the game. That's that's really like uh, doesn't require anything. Just literally just swapping uh, files around. Uh, I should actually. I keep using the word actually. I should do that uh, also for the shopkeeper music. Uh, since I'm complaining so much about it, I should do something about it. I see the shopkeeper, I see the ghost. Uh, nothing is happening, but that's the way to go. And I have to get around here with a rope if I want to be safe from Tiki Trap. It wasn't necessary, but it was safer. And it makes me feel calmer. And more relaxed and safer in general. Hmm. This is gonna take a, a little while. I guess I can just forest forward this and bring you back when stuff happens. And we have left the black market. We have still four hearts, which isn't good because um, with four hearts it means a tiki trap can kill us uh, and uh, we don't have a jetpack but we do have a climbing gloves and cape so I will not be complaining uh, we have the ankh so we have succeeded with that and what if I want to get that uh, I don't feel too confident tightly jumping in front of the tiki trap so uh, either I blow it up or use a rope. Again, normally I want to save up uh, on bombs, uh, but using rope here? Yeah, I'm doing it. Whee! There we go. Oh, and there's another way here. But uh, uh, we're gonna get to there either way, so I need to go. I should go back for my shotgun, there it is. And of course I threw it on spikes. The only advent- Ah, what have I done? I'm a moron. The only advantage that a cape has over the jetpack is that with the cape you are capable of jumping over spikes uh, as long as you're hovering uh, on them. I don't understand. Okay. Capable. <laughs> I am capable. <laughs> oh, jumping over spice. 
Honestly, it doesn't compare to uh, the ability to fly at all. Like, the jetpack is definitely a superior item. I think I've had, like, exactly one situation where I totally found myself thinking, Oh, I wish I had a cape instead of a jetpack. It was, like, in the ice case where I had to go to some gems that had fallen over spikes. And uh, the only way to get to them was to bomb the spikes away, but then the gems would have fallen in the void. So it was like a very, very specific case. There we go, we have survived getting around a trap. What in the world is up with this level? That's a lot of tiki traps. The, the level generator was like... Uh, Okay, so you want a 2-3 and you only have 4 hearts? Well, I'll just put all the Tiki Traps in here that I can. We have only 10 seconds uh, to deal with that shopkeeper. And unfortunately... Oh! That's really bad. That is so bad. Ah. Okay, that's good. Good thing. I'm glad that happened. <sighs> Careful. Careful. I can get around the ghost here to go back and get the shopkeeper's uh, gold. Careful. Careful. That's what I was talking about. And down we go. We are still alive. I wanna check out that crate. Ah, curiosity. Ah, must know what's in the crate. There we go. Oh, well, I was worthless. We have a terrible score for having just beaten 2-3. We, like, we're all playing this together, you and I, and uh, it's all your fault. <laughs> that's... That's the way I see it. Mm. Whatever, you can keep your gem. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm going through the left side. What's with the jungle? You are dead. And you must be broken. Ooh. Ooh. I'm jumping too high. And uh, I want that crate and I actually have to get it from the side. Because I can't get it. Ooh, good thing, good thing, good thing. Good thing. Glad I I'm glad I went for it. I couldn't do it from that side because I would have been unable to... Oh no, wait, I have a cape. No, I totally... Um, I am unable to jump over those spikes even with a cape. Uh, because I have to jump downward from the branch uh, to actually get down from the branch. Uh, and that doesn't give me enough time to actually deploy the... Can I say deploy the cape? Like a parachute. That's too many things trying to kill me. Ah. Let's not shoot to the fire pot cauldron, please. Can I walk in front of it? I can. Because those things I totally have a flaming guy, man. I have no idea what they're called in them. So if you shoot them, they'll come out and chase after you. And we don't want that. Oh, that's so much stuff that I have to deal with. This is a terrible daily. But well, we're doing okay for it being a terrible daily. Like, we're alive. We have almost reached the ice caves. Oh. Um. Hmm. The shopkeeper on this side should end up. Uh, oh! Dead. <laughs> I don't mind at this turn of events, sightly. I can get that gold without dying. If I'm smart about it. Like that. Uh, do we have anything else to do? The lack of altars of Kali makes me sad. Ah, 
Uh, definitely not a great daily so far, score, score wise. Not score wise. Bad, 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 bad. But we're alive. And sometimes that's all that matters. So far, uh, may. To, if I want to increase my daily average score, I have to score basically uh, 700,000. I have like uh, my lowest scores in the top 10 daily scores. They're all, I don't remember them in my memory, but they're all 600,000 something. So just to be safe, I will know. I, I am aiming for 700,000. That uh, I'm sure will increase my average. Oops, I threw away a mine. Mines are kind of precious, again, for the purpose of saving bombs. If I want to get the gems out of the walls, I'll try to use mines first and bombs last. What's with the compasses today? Not sure how many I got so far, but that's too many. Oh, oh! <laughs> I heard... I heard a spaceship uh, shooting at me and I proceeded to move in the exact spot uh, where it would, had just shot. Uh. Great. Uh, need to go back up. Uh, great. Alright. I need to deal with you. I have dealt with you. Here's my shotgun. Ah, ice caves are a good place to be at when you have uh, climbing gloves. Uh, or... Well, I guess it's kind of the other way around. The climbing gloves are great for the ice caves. <laughs> of course, again, a jetpack would be better. Hello, spider. But uh, um, moving around with the climbing gloves is easier in the ice caves than it would be anywhere else, just because normally you can use. Ooh, you can use. Where am I gonna put this? The walls on the sides uh, to climb up and down. Uh, this one, however, is clogged by blocks, so not as useful. Maybe the left one will be better. There is a shopkeeper in that shop. And this is a good spot for a rope, I feel. You have been killed by me. Shopkeeper! That's annoying. That's also annoying. Well, time to start ghosting gems and try to fix this horrible, oh, horrible. <laughs> I made up a new word to describe just how awful and horrible this is. Horrible. I want to open up this spot. So I'll be grabbing you and walk into the mine and run away. And I will need another mine here so that I can start climbing up and down with the climbing gloves freely. And uh, that's gonna be the easiest way to get around the ghost, just keep climbing up and down. I wanna get uh, the pencil to safety. There we go. I also need to think about what to do with the shopkeeper. And also... Great, that took care of it. Oh, okay, shopkeeper took care of itself. Uh, get, get up here, ghost. Alright. There. Uh, more compasses. So the wall on the left isn't uh, as clear as I would have liked it to be. So again, uh, climbing up and down is not going to be as easy as it could potentially be in the ice caves. But it's gonna be still... It's... Yeah. It, I can definitely go easily around here. So now we'll be just uh, freeing gems from the ground and ghosting them into diamonds. And I will speed this all up and bring you back once I'm done.
Well, the my uh, my score isn't getting any better. <laughs> the level had mostly ice and very little terrain with actually gems and gold in, in it. It was just silly. All right. Oh, sorry for not killing you properly. Let's check out what's in this crate. All right, now my bomb sit my bomb situation it satisfies me. I have a lot of bombs and I'm happy with that. And I almost had the them so shot. There is a, a jumping pad here, and I have to remember that. Unfortunately, ooh, in snowy levels, even though everything is visible, every gold. Every jump pad, everything is visible, that doesn't mean it's really easy, it's easy to see, like, it's not uh, at all. That can be awful, for example, for uh, no gold runs, uh, or just when I'm ghosting and everything is going fine, and I just have to jump over the ghost, except uh, I walk on the jump pad and I did not see because there was no in front of it, and it just throws me in the face of the ghost, and the ghost ghosts me. And that's awful. I hope it never happens to you. I wouldn't. This is purely hypothetical, right? Yes. Now. I can't do this without using a rope or a bomb. And for once, I think I have enough bombs to be willing to use them. Well, I thought I should have gone for the mines first. But. I did not. We have two shopkeepers, one on the left and one on the right, and uh, I'm not sure to kill either. Oh jeez, not like that. <laughs> they mean to fall down like a, a pebble, like a thrown pebble. Instead, I want to get to the left of the exit and just take a look over there, because I really haven't taken a good look. Well, I can anger the shopkeeper, there we go. Would have been awesome if he had the... Oh yes! Oh yes, please! Oh, Shopkeepers apparently cannot die by being forever locked in a jump, jump pad corpse loop of pain. I know I've done it with a shotgun and I was not alone when that happened. <laughs> well, time to go to this level too, so again, I will be spinning this up and I will be able to blow blah, 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 blah. I will bring you back once I'm ready to sacrifice myself to the Moai head. I believe I have gotten every gem on this level. Uh, I do have a gajillion bombs, uh, and so I'm pondering whether I shouldn't try to get some gold also off the walls with uh, the bombs that I have. Uh, what will this gold fall to? Unfortunately, uh, gold tends to fly everywhere when you break a block, like to the point where uh, a single block could send gold flying in different directions. Uh, like a piece to the left and a piece to the right, and they're just so unpredictable. And like gems that just fall straight down. I think I should have like this one is good. It doesn't really have many places to fall through. Yeah, it's just all there. But I should have that, uh, and maybe this. Uh, I just feel bad using bombs to mine up gold, even though like I have fifty. I know I have fifty, but can you imagine walking in the city of gold with? 50 bombs? Uh, I don't want to use them. <laughs> well, 
I will be leaving then. Unless I have forgotten the gem on the side here, no, and this one can't be good so it's gonna fall down. So, time to lure the ghost away from the Moai statue head. And slowly descend to our deaths. Our multiple deaths. All of the deaths. Whee! This way we're gonna lose the shotgun, but boop, there's the... Thing. Hedget? It has a weird name like that. Hedget. It's easier to just call it helmet. Looks like a, a hat after all. So yep, we're ghosting this and also we're going to discover what's in that uh, beautiful looking crate. Ooh, oh, game changer. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean it. I, I don't actually think it's good at all. Let's see, I'm gonna need at least two bombs to break in here. Let's use one. And I could actually kill the shopkeeper if I use two. Where is a safe spot to be at? There is... I don't see a safe spot to be at after bombing. So I guess I'll just uh, fly to the right? Maybe I should have done this from the, the other side. Of it. I don't really see a spot where I can run to after bombing it, so I should just try to kill the shopkeeper. One, two. And now I am running on this. Oh, okay. That worked out. Ooh, the gems are kind of spread out. But the good news, I can easily get a shotgun. We'll be ghosting all of this. And I'll be ghosting this. And I'm gonna need a bomb for it rather than a mine. Because of its position on the side of the wall. What's over here? Only an unfortunate victim of my terrible deeds. The other shopkeeper took care of itself. Himself, I appreciate people who take care of themselves. There's some gold here. Inexplicably. Alright, there's the gem. Uh, I can get this with a mine. I can get this gold and I can... I should actually move the chest somewhere just in case there is a gem there. I can put it in a more easier spot to, to ghost it. Like up here. Great. Actually, it could fall down. I'll just put it here. Alright. I might be waiting on that mine now. Just so that I don't risk uh, sending that gem flying somewhere. There's another thing I should move before opening. Like right here. Nope. Yeah, uh, if that was uh, a monster that could have set off uh, the mine, I should have thought about that. Uh, I want to preserve the mines. Uh, ooh. Good thing at the very last moment I thought about moving to the right just in case. I had to stomp with that skull. What's over here? Uh, I guess the shopkeeper walked on a mine, huh? I'll use another rope. Nothing would convince me to use bombs over ropes uh, when I could uh, do get the job done with either. I. Even though I have 47 uh, of bonds and 8 ropes, uh, I will still use ooh, the ropes first. <laughs> That's just how important they consider bonds to be. Oh, oh, I hadn't noticed either of those jump pads. And I didn't have, even have uh, the excuse of this no. Oh boy, well, more speeding up.
I believe I have gotten all the gems. And uh, I have also got a tiny bit of gold uh, here and there. I didn't get all the gold in the uh, walls that I saw. So I, I still want to save up on bombs, but... Uh, that uh, that vault uh, helped with the score. That vault helped a whole lot with the score. Shotgun. Just in case uh, we didn't get one after being resurrected. How nice uh, of the game to think of that. Oop. There's one gem, ready to be ghosted. And those two are gonna be annoying. This shop, whoa! It's not going to be too interesting for us. Well, at least the damn soul survived that. Ooh. Right, that's going on up there. Uh, nothing to worry about, nothing too scary. I can deal with that just fine. Like that. And we have one more gem, so let's try to move it just a tiny bit more. On that side. Crap. Well, good thing we have an additional shotgun. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, we don't have an additional gem, though. But, uh, yeah. Good thing we have another shotgun, so I can use that while my other shotgun is... Uh, Eee! Taking care of the gem for me, it's guarding it. It's like a dog. My shotgun, that's the way I feel about my shotgun. It has a name. The name is Lucy. Oop. Lucy the shotgun. Uh, this gem is going to fall in the void if I free it. So I should not be using a bomb. Or any other mean to acquire it. Let's see. There, perfect spot. Although the gold might get lost. Yep, yep, all of it. But it's a good way to climb up here, and I can just have a rope at approximately this site. That's perfect. I haven't actually paid attention to whether there is a UFO up here or not. There isn't. That's cool. I haven't explored the entirety of the level yet, and not everything is safe, so I just want to take... Uh, uh, that can help me. We're still near. Some more gold. Okay, no. Time to prepare the level for ghosting purposes. Woo! Again, an awful, awful lack of uh, gems in this level. Just terrible. This makes me so unhappy. But uh, here we are. This is the place where stuff happens and it's uh, awful. Really, really awful. Explosions everywhere. Alright, you gotta go. You're gonna take care of yourself like that. Uh, you gotta go too. Sorry, nothing personal. He just shot down his uh, ship and then killed him. That is pretty awful. Oh, there. There we go. That's taken care of. And there is... Uh, how many holes in the world do we have? Only one. Only that one. That's both good and bad. It's good because it's uh, difficult that... Uh, if we get stunned, we actually end up uh, uh, falling in the void and dying. That's basically, we basically have no chance of that happening at all. Uh, and bad because once we anger the shopkeeper, he also probably will not take care of himself. Uh, it's safe. Nope. I have angered the shopkeeper much earlier than when I wanted. And that's basically a death sentence. Ah, oh, crap. I see him. And he also saw me. Someone down there. Oh, hello, Demsul. Alright. 
shopkeeper hopefully should manage to oh not that way i'm trying to open up a hole where the shopkeeper can fall into that should do it or that can happen which actually gives me a tiny bit more gold so i will not complain good normally in the space ship in the mother ship i try to deal with the shopkeepers for a last like that's the last thing i do approaching uh, the exit uh, it's my very last priority but um i made a mistake there so good thing at least it ended uh, it ended well now i'm gonna go for the plasma cannon unless the uh, crap crap That could have been avoided. Huh. Uh, if a score of 400,000 ends up being the 14th rank in the world after most of the day has passed, that means lots of people, lots of people had issues. Yeah, that's, that's a really low score for being the number one score of... Uh, didn't even reach hell. This was a terrible seed for a daily. That was really bad. <laughs> well, let's go back uh, uh, to my friends. I have very few friends. And that's an awful thing to see. <laughs> but uh, I would love to have more people to actually compare my scores with and uh, fight against for dominance in the... In the... Uh, what did I do? Where am, where am I? <laughs> in the... Little boards, so if you'd uh, like to add me on Steam, my nickname is Wintermall. Gladly accept uh, your uh, friend uh, invitation thing so we can compete in Spelunky. Let's take a quick look at the previous daily. This was. I just don't have an excuse for it. Well, the previous one though, it's basically as if I took the score from Taste Daily and just added it to this one, so I had a really good day and an awful one right after. That's that's my best best score so far. Whee! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you in the next Spelunky Daily Challenge.